The first thing medical school took away from me was my social life. Like, I used to party a lot. Okay. Like, ah, I did party away. Well. Medical school for starters has taken away my desire to compare myself with other people actually. I've been watching movies like that's all this epic part of me and now I cannot watch 10 episodes at once. Hello, what's up? How are you doing today? Hello, I'm doing fine, thank you. Alright, please can you introduce yourself, your name and your level? Alright, my name is Tim Topway, I am the um, person known as T-Top, I'm in the 400 level A class. Alright, that's good. So, what is the inspiration behind your outfit? Because you look so good and so nice. Oh, <laughs> thank you very much, bro. Um, I think the outfit is more of my mentality in a way. Just that bold, deep and strong frame. I would say, yeah. All right, that's cool. Hope you've been enjoying yourself tonight. Yeah, the social community have done really well. I'm um, kudos to them. I really appreciate what they've done so far. Yeah, thank you. So can you tell us what medical school has taken from you so far? <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, medical school for starters has taken away my desire to compare myself with other people. Actually, every last last medical school humble everybody. Everybody will feel it, and at the point, at the, at the point, we feel like. There's nothing to feel inferior or superior about Saturday. Day. Um, secondly, um, I would say medical school has taken away my sensitivity to percussion. What do I mean? Maybe in under level secondary school, any major insults could get to my skin, but now my skin is quite thick, so I'm no longer too sensitive to that kind of stuff in a way. Okay, um, thirdly, I would also say that medical school has kind of like reduced my desire to be more like the things I see around me. Now I begin to see that even in medical, even in medicine, there are multiple specialties for multiple personalities and everything. So when you identify what is yours and what suits you, you go in that direction. And personally for me, I believe um, the surgical aspect kind of fits my kind of person in a way. So I think in that regard, medical school has taken it that point. I mean, yeah. All right, then. Thank you. You mentioned something. You mentioned percussion. Yeah. Can you like tell our viewers what percussion is? Okay, percussion is just a medical way of saying you're insulting someone. It's just a whole, um, how how I put it, slight way of saying when uh our consultants and our senior elders um, give us like back to back if we miss a question or if we fumble in a way. You understand now? So it's a common terminology medicine percussion, especially on the chest. So when they are percussing you, they are you don't know this. Ah, you are saying nonsense. You are dropping pro lens too. For you understand, it's just medical jargon in a way. So that's just what it means. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Can you tell us your name and your level? Um, Ruth Oluwa Tomisi and I'm uh, 300 level MBS. Okay, that's good. That's good. You look nice today. Thank you. Can you like tell us the idea behind your outfits? Um, <laughs> uh, that'll be. It's just my style because the story behind this dress is a lot to. I, I literally created this dress, so you understand. But I'm serious. Like I tend to be creative, so. All right, that's nice. So, quick question: What has medical school taken from you so far? Ha. That should be um binge watching movies like because movies is a big part of me and now I cannot watch 10 episodes at once and all that because you have books to read so you cut it down to two and then you go back to your book again for about three hours come back again so like ah, it's not it's not going to meet up like for like ah, when you watch your movie at once or now you have to be cutting and then you like forgotten one person's name and so that part but you know this one is bigger medicine is bigger than movies so yeah alright thanks so much yeah. hello What's up? How are you doing today? I'm doing very fine. Doing very, very fine. Are you enjoying the dinner night? Uh, it started late, but it has it, it has grown to expectation. I've enjoyed it. Yeah. Alright, that is that is good. You look very nice. I like your outfit. Thank you very much. So, what is the inspiration behind your outfit? Um, the inspiration is to showcase my culture, of course. I think I'm the only unique person in my class, so I decided to put on the outfit to, you know, send the message that 
the Vinny tribe is out there. That's, that's, that's nice. All right, so what has medical school taken from you so far? Ah, I used to party a lot. Okay. Like, ah, I did party with me. I used, to, I used to party a lot, but now I don't party as much as I used to. Okay. Yeah. All right, so please, your name and your level? Um, Imafidon Uyosa, 200 level. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, Hope you enjoy yourself in the dinner night. Yes, I really enjoyed myself, thank you. All right, can you tell us your name and your level? My name is Inyoluha Yeni, and I'm a student of medicine and surgery in 300 level, Ocean State University. All right, that's nice. You look really, really good tonight. Thank you very much. You said you don't look bad. Thank, nice. thank you, thank you. So, can you tell us the idea behind your outfits? My outfits? Well, the theme of the um, dinner was masquerade ball, so I just went on Pinterest, and I put that on Pinterest, and it got brought out something similar to this, so this was just what I went for, yeah. That was the inspiration of it. My dress. All right, that's nice. So the question is, what has medical school taken from me so far? Medical school. The first thing medical school took away from me was my social life. Like no more going out, no more reaching out to friends. All my friends dropped me, and it was really bad because I, I'm this kind of person that I'm always, I always need someone beside me. So adjusting and adapting to loneliness, not loneliness per se, but learning to be on your own and. What one significant thing it taught me was it, it taught me how to know myself like I discovered myself in that process then another thing that medical school has taken away from me is laziness I used to sleep eh, like I, I can sleep like 8 to 10 hours a day but I have so many PDF series from thorax to abdomen to pelvis to perineum to neuro to head and neck so it has given me that consistency spirit so I've removed laziness from my life and it has also taught me how to be diligence that's taking away what will I say procrastination and all that I always used to procrastinate well in medical school you cannot procrastinate because you don't know what will happen in the next one minute so th those are the things medical school has taken from me yeah. thanks so much yeah.